2014 is over. It's done with. It is in the books. It's kaput, but that doesn't mean that we can't do a little year-end review situation here. We talked to monsters. We climbed into elevators. We looked at mind-rending cosmic science and amazing microscopic science. And we explored poop a lot. So please enjoy our offerings of 2014. Pretty impressive stuff. Yeah, but is it really a creative work? Let's start off with a quick reminder about what lysergic acid diethyl imide actually is and what it isn't. So what might the humble motel or hotel of the future look like in 2030? Again, this is the reason that these days I handle most of my lower digestive processes externally. How do you like your invisible cloak of odor now, sir? Before widespread use of the internet, little was known about trypophobia or the fear of holes. But once people band together in their mutual hatred of the hole and formed a Facebook page, an internet domain, and scads of videos on the topic, psychologists took notice, especially when sufferers described symptoms like nausea, uh, their skin crawling, shuddering, and or feeling as though they were going to fall headfirst into these gaping maws. But of course, as monstrous as it seems, we're actually observing a real-world organism with a real-world parasite parasitic agenda. What we see here is a parasitoid worm from the phylum Nematomorpha. They're also known as horsehair worms because these thread-like round worms do resemble the hair of a horse's tail or mane. And it squirms around and takes up residence inside a cricket, mantis, beetle, or other host organism. It's the angle of the dangle that's at issue here. Specifically the anorectal angle, a bend between the rectum and the anus where feces exits. When we stand, there's a 90 degree angle in the bend that puts pressure on the rectum and, in concert with the sphincter, helps to keep feces from falling out of our butts. In a sitting posture, this angle expands by a scant 10 degrees, but a squat increases the angle by 36 degrees. Earwax not only helps to create a temporary waterproof seal protecting the inner workings, but it also lubricates the skin so that we don't go mad trying to itch dry, inaccessible skin. But the benefits don't stop there. It can trap and ooze bacteria out of the ear, and it has between 1,000 to 2,000 glands that produce antimicrobial peptides. It also contains lysozyme, an enzyme capable of destroying bacterial cell walls, making it an earwax hero. About bacterial street fighter patrolling the nooks and crannies of your ears. Remote virtual lovemaking just might be on the future's room service menu, possible with the aid of textiles tricked out with electronically controllable properties that could massage sleepers or play active roles in dreams, linking with imagery and sounds to create a nuanced backdrop to your dreamscape. But our friend the ape here benefits from higher cognition. When he first picks up his glorious bone club, the body schema takes a bit to update. Dear ape man, this is your brain speaking. Your left arm is now a foot longer and hard enough to split a boar skull. Or how about an intergalactic type 4 civilization that wields the power of multiple galaxies? Or a type 5 in which a civilization's power encompasses the entire universe, or even transcends it into the multiverse? Is there an edge to space? Where did the universe come from? What does infinity look like? For such incomprehensible beings, all our greatest type 0 mysteries would distill to simple fact. That's like a typical vampire, only in the side, uh, in the manner of the spear wound of Christ. <laughs> I have to leave. But here's where things get freaky deaky. Atoms are mostly empty volume. The nucleus of an atom is exceedingly small. In fact, it's about one one hundred thousandth of the size of the whole atom. We could look at his eyes and note whether or not they were shifting from side to side or looking up to his left as though trying to reach for an answer. Oh, Jason, what are we to make of you? It's so easy to mistake this beautiful creature for a, a mere psychotic human or, a, or an undead killing machine. But he's so much more. Like the mummies of old, might future astronauts one day slide dry and lifeless into a sarcophagus, bound on a cosmic journey across time and space? I hope we get to find out. Liberation by the lash, transcendence on the rack, an epiphany of, oh, there we have it.
Thanks for watching, everybody, and do let us know what you liked the most from us in 2014 and what you want to see more of in 2015. Yeah, leave your episode ideas in the comments below, and we will see you on the flip side.